Recently, I made a poll asking if you guys wanted to see the progress on my layout. And since it won by a pretty significant margin, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, keep in mind the table itself was completed very recently, and there's a lot that I still plan to do with it. So for now, I may not have a lot to show, but very soon I plan for that to change. So consider this a part one into the updates of the new layout. The table itself was a project that I would start with a friend a couple of weeks ago. The table I had before was very small and couldn't really fit much on it, so he and I would put our woodworking to the test and stain and finish a new 4x8, as this could easily fit at least two loops of track. We would then add siding to the table and load it up onto a trailer, which unfortunately ended up being a little small, but with some effort we were able to get the new table into place. Now I could actually start on detailing the table, and I would start with test fitting the new Kato track that I had recently acquired. At this point I had decided on a branch line and a main line, but trying to find the proper radius to fit on the table was tricky. For a while, I was just stuck with two straight lines, but eventually I was able to figure it out, and now the lines are actually completed. In time, I'd like to add some sidings to both, as well as a crossover track so the models can go between them, but for now I think it's a good start to actually have them as serviceable. I guess the best place to start is the small yard area that I have going on, which in time will definitely be expanded on, but at the moment features an engine shed, as well as the only Kato switch that I happen to own at the moment, as well as some miscellaneous props and buildings. Here we can see Henry in the shed waiting for his next train, and picking behind him is Reneus. Currently he only sits on a small piece of track, but in the near future I'm hoping to add a narrow gauge portion to the layout itself, so his home is soon to change. Unfortunately, he's more of a prop piece for now though. Next, I suppose, is the signal box and gantry, which like to change locations, but these buildings in specific are special, as they were some of my first. Not only that, but they also happen to hold my Thomas and the Magic Railroad pin, which is not only my favorite movie, but also comes from my good friend Marvin Jerry. The right corner houses the layout controls, which is seen here are two Kato controllers, one for the branch line and one for the main line, and temporarily next to that are my Flames of War tanks, specifically a fleet of Shermans. I would like to build a battlefield scene, but at the moment it's just fun to watch the engines go through them. Unfortunately, the back corners are temporarily kind of barren, though I do have plans for both of them, but normally I use this free space to put my Thomas and Friends photo cell on display, which also was very kindly given to me by my friend Marvin Jerry, just like the pin featured up front. Next we have the warehouse, which sits between the tracks, though with time it's likely I'll move it elsewhere. I also use it as storage for my miscellaneous vehicles, and beside that is a small station with Birdie at the railroad crossing. In the middle are currently my two model displays, one of a miniature Brindam docks and another of a small engine shed. At the moment I sit locomotives that I'm not running on the layout on these. Lastly, but definitely not least as it's one of my favorite additions, is Harold and his helipad, currently featuring a small silo and a small fueling tanker. In time I'll likely change the location of this as well. For now it's doing its job of looking good as the engines go by. Unfortunately, that's the majority of the layout for now, but with time I'm definitely looking to expand this as well as the track that's on it. Soon I'm hoping to invest in an actual signaling system, as well as some switches and some new locations for the layout. Again, consider this more of a part one than anything. I likely won't be adding a grass mat or anything like that, as I've actually grown to like the simplicity of just the finished wood, but either way I'll be detailing around that and soon I hope to light all the buildings. Unfortunately, it's just a step at a time though. Now that we've covered all of that, let's see some of the models at work. As always, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.